Good morning. Wow, this is a pretty weak coffee. Oh my goodness. Um, so yeah, we're here again. It's day two in my little short trip here during the 4th of July weekend. We're heading over to the park in a little bit. So I have breakfast at the Plaza Inn, which is the breakfast with Minnie and her friends, I believe. That's actually one of my most favorite breakfasts and on Disneyland a resort property. Um, I've done that last year, so we're heading back again to check out what's new. But incidentally, you know, I, if you've seen my vlog from yesterday, which I'll link in the description down below, I'm also doing a quick little sort of like review stay here at the Motel 6 at the main gate Anaheim. And this is supposedly one of the worst rated um, value resorts, hotels around the Disneyland area. So checking it out so far, actually not so bad. I slept really well last night. The bed's pretty comfortable. Um, it's a little bit noisy, especially in the morning. I don't know if they have constructions going on or whatever, but he come definitely bring some earplugs or noise canceling uh, headphones. That would be my recommendation. Internet, yeah, so far it's been a little spotty. So if you're kind of streaming and doing Zoom calls, uh, that's something to think about, but it is a little bit sketchy for sure. All right, well, um, like I said, they provide a coffee, which is really nice, but uh, it's definitely not, it's, it's pretty weak. I think they have complimentary coffee and tea and stuff in the lobby area, so that's great. So this is the outfit of the day for today. Oh yeah, one more thing to keep in mind. This hotel does not provide shower gel. They have soap bars and stuff, so if you're used to using shower gel at home, bring your own. All right, let's head in the park. We made it to the Esplanade. It is looking very busy right now. This weekend, incidentally, all the lower keys are blocked out. So it's just the Inspire key, which is at the highest tier of the Magic Keys. And then people that don't, they just have like regular day tickets. So yeah, I mean, definitely a popular weekend if you're considering coming to Disneyland around the 4th of July holiday weekend. So we're gonna head on over into the park. Uh, my breakfast reservation is until 1040. So we're doing something a little bit different today. I usually like to pick breakfast reservations that are like first thing in the morning at 8 a.m. That's when they open. But today I just decided to actually sleep in and check out sort of the late, um, the later breakfast. Breakfast ends at <laughs> 11, so I got about 20 minutes until then. They're, they're probably not gonna kick me out, but um, yeah. Um, so show you what that looks like and what's new in 2024 for the Minis and Friends breakfast over at Plaza Inn. Yeah, I guess right now it sounds like we're like 10, 15 ish. So there are a bunch of people that may be waiting for park hopping. I don't know. That might be a little bit too early for that. So I think this is just people trying to get in. So yeah, let's go into the park and uh, see what we can do. This is kind of what we're looking at in terms of the crowd in the morning. Actually in Disneyland Resort, the morning tends to be not to be too crowded actually. I don't know if like Californians are just not super early risers or something like that. Like rope dropping isn't as big of a thing as in say Florida. Um, but again, this, this weekend is a little bit unique just because I mentioned that a lot of the magic keys are blocked out. So it's just your, it's more folks that probably haven't been here that regularly. So that might have something to do with sort of like the differing uh, wait time and crowd size. Ooh, I love the Main Street vehicles. They're so cool. And yeah, this is where we're gonna be dining in a little bit. Um, in the morning, usually this area tends to be super crowded, but I think we're just catching the tail end of the breakfast. So uh, we'll come back here in a little bit and uh, have, have our breakfast. Yesterday I had a Ding Tai phone for uh, you know, in downtown Disney, the, you know, when they just, they just opened and the food was really, really good. But I just stuffed myself with a bunch of dumplings and Shaolong Bao and soup dumplings, soup buns. So, um, so I actually moved my breakfast to a little bit later for that reason. I was like, you know what, there's no way that I could wake up at like 6.30 and have a buffet breakfast around 8. So. Um, yeah, that's another thing to keep in mind that if you want some flexibility, there is an opportunity to modify your reservation in your My Disney Experience app. That is, sometimes it's a good way to kind of get around the two hour cancellation window. Uh, but, you know, just be mindful of that because a lot of the restaurants will have that 
no-show or a late cancellation policy. Uh, typically, restaurants have that two-hour window, but depending on the events or um, if it's like a specialty dining experience, sometimes they'll have a differing cancellation policy. So be mindful of that. But for if, you're, you, if you can push it out later, that kind of lengthens your cancellation window a little bit, which I've, I've used before <laughs> as a hack to get away from, uh, from that. So in case you don't know, there is a bathroom that's back here hidden behind Alice in Wonderland. <laughs> there goes Chip. <laughs> oh, hi, Chip. We are all checked in. They had a little bit of an issue with mobile check-in today, so I actually had to do the in-person. But firstly, they hand you one of these things and you get to meet Minnie. I guess you can bypass that photo if you don't want to take a picture with Minnie, but you're here having breakfast with Minnie and friends. So why wouldn't you have have a picture with Minnie and the photo pass is included um, as part of your, your dining package so that's kind of nice so yeah after this we're gonna go ahead and I think make a payment first and then head on in and uh, get seated I, I saw Chip already walking by a couple of chipmunks and daisies around yeah so we'll see who the characters we have today done with pictures with Minnie now we're gonna get ourselves all checked in there's Eeyore looking as Eeyore as ever um, I think Tigger is over there as well. So yeah, I think these are your typical characters today. I haven't seen any specialty characters yet. So, all right, we're gonna go ahead and get ourselves settled in, checked in, and uh, ready to have breakfast. We're all seated and ready to go. I actually got the number one table, which is awesome. I've never sat on this side. I've always sat on the other side. They're kind of like mirror. Obviously, we've got the plaza and it's kind of a Victorian style. This is one of the OG restaurants here in Disneyland. I think it used to be called the Red Wagon Inn, but yeah, they used to hold VIP events, activities, it used to be a lounge. So there's just so much history. And this restaurant, the decor actually, I think Lillian Disney herself really had a lot of influence as well. It's just gorgeous. You know what? You always wanna grab one of those pins. So I will be proudly displaying my breakfast with Minnie and friends at Plaza Inn. Picture over here on the wall. Keep coming, right around the corner here. Apparently there's a hidden Mickey on the wall. I kind of see it. Let's check out the buffet, but that is the number seven table. Apparently that is where Walt used to sit all the time. So that guest got lucky. All right, we're gonna check out the buffet and see what we have over here. The unique thing about this place is that they have mini waffles, which, you know, you don't get mini waffles in most places. So there it is. And you got some uh, banana foster and oatmeal. Ooh, that looks good. Good morning. No, a little bit, thank you. And they have scrambles and sausages and bacon. So, you know, your kind of regular breakfast stuff. Um, on this side, yeah, I guess it's kind of mirroring what's over there. Again, potato hashes and tater tots. Nothing fancy for sure, but definitely very friendly for pickier eaters. Um, on this side, we have some cereal for our kiddos and adults that love cereal. But they do have an omelet station, which I think this is one thing that uh, is kind of unique here. I don't have like a carving station or anything like that. So, okay, I think I'm gonna grab a omelet and just stand in line. And they also have pastries, croissants, and uh, danishes and fruits and things of that nature. So, yeah, that's pretty much, you know, it's a very, very simple breakfast, breakfast, breakfast yeah, very, wow, I can't talk today. Um, very simple breakfast fare, um, kind of mirrored on both sides, which usually Disney breakfasts are kind of like that. Um, so yeah, your sodas, Powerade, Fanta, um, and oh, again, the juices are temporarily out of order. And they also have coffee as well. All right, so yeah, we're gonna grab something and uh, and get, get going here. Morning, can I have a sausage omelet with a cheese, spinach, tomato, mushroom, and bell pepper, please? got our plate we have just a pristine mini waffle and then we've got the mini waffle with the banana foster all over it that actually looks really good it's like a caramelly banana -y, pecan -y sauce and then we've got our sausage omelet with basically everything so 
and coffee as well. I feel like the dining here has changed a little bit. It's pretty much more like cafeteria style, whereas before they would have cast members bringing you coffees and things of that nature. So now it's completely self-serve. So you grab your own coffee, you grab your own drinks. They don't even have like utensils and napkins on the table anymore. So it's like completely cafeteria cafeteria style. Um, so yeah, well, we'll see. I mean, I uh, haven't seen any too many unique characters. I, I feel like they're, that, they're not that many today. So yeah, I mean, mm, I don't know. My, my, my opinion about this place may be changing a little bit after today. At least the omelet's pretty good. It's made to order. Omelet's decent. But I am gonna go give this um, McMini waffle with the banana foster sauce a try. Um, I mean, sweet doughy goodness. What can go wrong, right? Yeah, it's pretty good. It's got, it's very banana y. And if you're into like kind of caramel y sauce, sweet sauce, it's a, it's a good option. But I really, I do love my mini waffle just by itself. Good morning, Tigo. How are you? Oh, you're going to sit down and have breakfast with me? Oh, wonderful. Thank you so much. What's your favorite? Do you like the mini waffles? You, oh. Yes, let's let's move a little bit closer to you. Be careful with the coffee now. Don't let it stain your beautiful for all. Oh, make mini waffles your favorite, isn't it? Yes, it is. Well, I guess I inadvertently made a hidden Mickey. I didn't even realize that. <laughs> well, when you're in Disneyland, that's that's what happens. Okay, so the second we got some country scrambles. I think it's like sausage with scrambled eggs, some protein, just some one slice of um, bacon. They also have biscuits and gravy and like chicken strips. I think I'm, I'm good, so yeah, so. And then I filled up myself another soda. Like I said, they, they it's completely 100% self-service right now. And uh, yeah, we will keep going one by one, course by course. Actually, the country scramble isn't bad. It's got some, um, I think, cheese in there as well. So if you like kind of like cheesy scramble, this is not too bad. Again, pretty basic food, potato hash. It's nothing to write home about, but they'll fill you up for sure. Minnie herself has decided to join the party. <laughs> She's usually stationed outside, but maybe because the breakfast is about to, the breakfast is te technically ended. Uh, so I guess she's just coming back in to greet the guests inside. Guest breakfast is winding down, so the characters are being recalled, I guess. Yeah, Dale just walked by, and uh, I don't think I even get an opportunity <laughs> to to take a picture or anything like that. That's okay. We've seen Dale a lot, and he's been, you can find him pretty much anywhere around the park. So, yeah, um, I'm just, I think their lunch officially starts around noon, and uh, I don't know when they're going to start kicking out the breakfast guests, but yeah, this, I guess, I don't know if this is the difference between a late breakfast versus an early breakfast, but the experience today is certainly different uh, we'll, we'll call it that but uh, yeah I'm gonna appear to enjoy some coffee and uh, I think I'm pretty much done with the food now the omelet was pretty good made to order all the ingredients are pretty fresh and yeah so that was probably the highlight I thought the banana foster is actually decent as well uh, but you know I don't really have a sweet tooth per se so that one is a little bit on the, the sweeter side but if you're into banana and to caramel and sweetness that might be a good option. People, I've seen people douse that over French toast. It looks really good, but it's just a, it's it's probably just a little too thick and heavy for me. So yeah, we're gonna probably grab another couple things of uh, coffee and, and and drinks, and then and then I guess we're gonna call it a breakfast. <laughs> Whew, what a day! My goodness, it was a hot day in Disneyland, but had a really great time. Minus the Plaza Inn, like I'm kind of questioning whether or not that is still one of my favorites now, just given to the experience. So I don't know, we'll have to come back and uh, maybe it's the timing or whatever. I'm not sure exactly what happened, but mm, I'm slightly disappointed. But other than that, you know, we got to do quite a bit. We saw the first Marine band from Camp Pendleton. They were awesome. And I also caught the bit of the a Magic Happens parade here in Disneyland. I don't know if that parade's going away or something like that. Rumor has it it's going away at the end of August. So who knows? Caught it. It was great. All the characters and that parade has a lot of characters. So I really enjoyed it. But <laughs> just obviously, you know, it was really hot today. There was a side of the street that was shaded and the side that was, uh, you know, right under the sun, you know, guess what, where I sat. So it was kind of like melting throughout, throughout the whole thing. Caught the flag retreat ceremony. 
always just so heartwarming. I loved it. Service members got to be honored and there was one individual that was going around and giving away little bracelets to everybody. So uh, it was just, it was just really lovely. Anywho, as far as kind of my stay here at the Motel 6, so far, honestly, no complaints. Um, I, you know, I've read some of the reviews and they talked about the internet. They talked about sort of the loudness of the room. Yeah, all the rooms are, you know, facing the outside. So if you just bring your own earplugs or noise canceling headphones, I, I really don't think it's going to be a problem. Like, I, you know, as a solo traveler, I felt pretty safe. Um, this area is about, you know, a 20 minute walk from Disneyland. So it's not that bad at all. So all in all, not not bad. I mean, I would I would come back and just for the price point, um, it's it's actually a really good value to be honest with you. Um, so that's kind of my my little my take on the Mobile Six. Um, anyways, hopefully you enjoyed my short little trip here in Disneyland over the Independence holiday, and uh, I will see you in my next vlog.